wanted to help kind of normalize the idea that amnesties are part of most political conflict resolution processes around the world. And there are multiple examples from South Africa to Sierra Leone, from the US to Portugal to, you know, all over the place. And, and it, to really drive home that amnesties are part of the ways in which people have yeah, moved out of political conflict and armed conflict. I, I think what was particularly helpful tonight was that the focus is not just on armed conflict and human rights abuses, but on contexts where you have had um, political demonstrations, civil disobedience, and you've had these political amnesties. And that just realize that these are also a, a, a normal tool in the response to the conflict resolution. And I think that came out really clearly from colleagues um, who've been studying and living in these processes from Northern Ireland to Ukraine to Colombia. Um, and, and to do it at this moment was Kind of, it felt kind of very special for me both to have the minister and the president kind of framing the discussion when an agreement has been reached to, to actually acknowledge that this is both a way of moving out of the judicialization, um, drawing a line, and moving into um, some of the hard negotiations ahead. Mm -hmm.